Have you ever thought about what's your hustler food? What feeds your beast? Something to think about. We'll chop that up in just a second. Mine is freedom. You got to think of something. What feeds the hustler beast? Many people make the false assumption that it's money. That feeds an emotion. The money buys stuff, does stuff to feed an emotion. But the hustle, to really get out there, and I'm not talking about the opportunistic hustler. I am talking about someone who just loves the thrill of the game, the interplay, the deal making, learning new stuff. What is your hustler food? Think about it. Because what you digest is what you become. So what are you eating? What are you breaking off? What are you chewing on that feeds your hustle? Is it misery? Is it poverty? Is it brokenness? Is it a lack of inclusion? What's feeding your hustle food? Because I've thought about some of the behavior that I've witnessed here on YouTube. And it's been going on for years. There's nothing new. And I thought, why is this person doing this to yield that result, but they're actually running people off? And I thought about it. It's their hustler food. That's what they're eating, so they figure that that's what everyone else wants. Have you ever had a friend that has this thing, this stuff, this thing, whatever you want to call it, and it's so great to that friend that they think you want it and if you don't want it you're an idiot that's kind of like some of the hustler food it's like i'm eating on this misery i'm eating on this brokenness mm, I have some good brokenness mm, that's good you want some i mean seriously because i started to think because I, I didn't really get a chance to address it, but I did read it. Someone wrote me like this, a really amazing letter. I was very grateful. And I will probably do a video on it. But I was just like, okay. Because I noticed that people that come here, because this is hustler food. Some of the stuff that they give you. And it's not the diet that everyone needs nor wants. Because I have people come and they go, uh-uh. Hell no, don't want none of that. The other people, whoa, yo, I'm at this place. This dude serving up some stuff. Woo, you need to get over here, call John, Luke, and the Lord. Get, yeah, yeah, all of them, get them over here. Cause, you know, it's, it's that type of thing because as I work on making Hustle University better and making my other things better, I am asking better questions because I can say to you with a great deal of honesty that when I first started this stuff, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I had no clue. It was just like psh, slapping videos up on YouTube, psh, slapping up a blog, and it worked. <laughs> so, but I didn't know what I was doing. It was just like, Slapping, slapping, putting stuff here, putting stuff here. And as my hustle has become more fine-tuned, it's got some head and shoulders on it, I don't do that anymore because I've been through that journey. But I'm eating different hustle food. I am digesting a different hustle diet. So I'm getting different results. And I want you to stick with me. What, what, what hustle table are you eating off of? Sir, what, what are you eating off? Where are you getting your daily requirement of hustle vitamins? Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's awesome, that's great here on YouTube. It's a great source of hustle vitamins. I mean, some of these videos that other people have put up are actually hustle steroids. And what's funny, some of the best videos don't have a lot of views when you're looking for certain dietary requirements. Now, if you're looking for junk food, that's everywhere, all day long, everywhere. But if you're looking for 
nutritionally dense hustle food that's hard to find sometimes that's hard to find so i want you to think about your hustle food i really 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 do because some people are hustling because they're broke which is a great reason no one likes to be broke but that's not long term that's more like hustle junk food it tastes great feels good and you know you, sometimes you eat too much of it you get a tummy ache but if your hustle food is more of the substantial of the nutritionally dense really good stuff you have a long-term hustle because in the resale course that's going on at hustle university right now i talk about opportunistic hustlers and strategic hustlers depending upon what type of hustling food that you're digesting it will pan out one way or another with the lion's share of people opportunistically hustling here's an opportunity there's this it's like bam i'm doing this bam i'm doing this crap snapple pop i'm doing this but strategic hustlers are like why am i doing this what sense does it make to do this why do this i mean sure that money on the table I can smell it. It's, mm, it smells delicious. That's some good lord. That money's delicious, but it's not part of my hustle diet. See, that's the thing between a strategic hustler and an opportunistic hustler. It's a different diet. It's different dietary requirements. It's a different cafeteria. It's a different restaurant. It's a whole new world of hustle food because. I am a strategic hustler. I work on long-term stuff, which sometimes in the beginning it seems a little crazy, unstructured, because I'm testing stuff. But there's a long-term plan here. Everything that I do has alternative branches at some point in the future. Because if it's like this big now, I want it to branch out like a big oak tree. But what is, you know, what is your hustle food? I mean, seriously, why are you hustling? Really, why? Because you know the, the patented answer is the money. Well, Glenn, the reason that I am hustling is because I'm broke as shit. And um, Sue over there, yeah, you see her with those double D? She ain't give me none because I don't have no money. So, gee, I need some money so I can get some honey. And she's not looking at me. But the deal with hustling and consuming your hustle food is understanding that whatever hustle food that you consume is going to build your hustle from the nucleus, from the atom, from a molecular level all the way to the surface tissue. And if you're not consuming a good hustle diet, you could not possibly be running at optimal hustler speed. Because the thing is, the world is changing. It's just like this. It's just like that machine is slapping out product. It's shoo, shoo, shoo. That's how hustling is going. That's how the world is going. And if you are moving at half that speed or behind that speed, mentally, I'm speaking, it could be problematic. It could be totally problematic. I'm going to give you my hustle diet. And I've said this before. I am a Netflix junkie because I don't watch a lot of te television. And it's gotten to the point where sometimes my television doesn't come on for days because there's a lot of stuff that I don't take in because I understand being a strategic hustler that there are other strategic hustlers out there. And I also understand that all these strategic hustlers have an agenda. And if you look at media images of you, myself, or, or anyone, I mean, there's, there's caricatures of who people are. Because it's part of this design to get you to buy stuff, which I am not mad at. But since I'm a strategic hustler, I have to be careful what's on my hustler plate. And that's the reason I don't watch a lot of that stuff, don't consume that stuff. I like to read my information or get it from a trusted source because you can get better news accountability and reporting from some guy here on YouTube who's giving you a completely journalistic view than you can from mainstream media. You're sitting there going, what? No, really? 
I've heard so many things. I'll give you an example. There was a young man here who was supposed to get a heart and something happened. And in the news, they're reporting, well, you know, they're not releasing the reason. Anyone that's worked in a hospital knows that any information that's in your chart is personal, confidential, and the releasing of that information to someone who is not authorized to have it or does not have your permission is legally um, a hailstorm. It's a, an assumable offense. People could go to jail. So I was just sitting there like, why are they saying that? Like, yeah, we, well, we could tell you the reason that we're not really. No, you can't. But we have people who are consuming all of this junk, hustle food that is just pushing out all of the reasoning skills that they are born with because they're consuming all of this wrong hustle food. Like the thing with the Affordable Health Care Act and Obamacare, there are people who are mad every time you mention Obamacare. But all those other jacked up, fucked up laws that are being passed while you're like, Obamacare, Obama, you're not even paying attention. Have you ever noticed when the law passed, it's, it's so many pages and there's so much poor, there's so many things in there because it takes a team of people to go through that stuff. The average person couldn't go through it. But that's part of, you know, the grand plan. So, you know, you got to be careful what you digest on your hustle diet. You got to be very, very, very careful. Because another thing with watching this stuff is it, it creates environments of doom and gloom. Oh, God. You know, if you eat this, you're going to die. Oh, if you walk outside, you're going to die. If you eat fish at 12 p.m. off the ceramic plate, there's been a study that has shown that there's your risk of getting cancer goes up 90%. I mean, you know, every day it's just like a freak out moment, right? Because there's so many things that are going on. But when you become a strategic hustler, and when I say a strategic hustler, it is about your life. You know, that's why the design your life thing is going on and hustle you right now. It's about your life, designing your life. Because when you become a strategic hustler and you like go into the cafeteria life and you see all this hustle food, you're like, oh, God, that's so good. But it's so bad for me. I can't do it. Give me this hustle food. It's not as tasty, but it nourishes me. It makes me better. It doesn't give me gas. It doesn't give me hustle gas. This stuff is like awesome from a nutritional content perspective. That's what your hustle food has to be. This is, that's what you got to start eating. That's what you got to really digest and be very, very careful about it because there's so many strategic hustlers out there that are on this high level. They have a great deal of influence because watching TV can make you hate people. Watching TV can make you, you know, there's an article on crack. I haven't put it out there because I haven't finished reading it. But how movies and stories, if you haven't noticed, have a similar arc. There's this big quest. There's this redemption thing. The Raiders of the Lost Ark, uh, the National Treasure. All these things have themes and stuff from the Bible. That's one of the reasons that religion is so strong and powerful because it's consistently reinforced throughout literature, um, just the way that we live our life. Literature, movies, books, consistently reinforced. And that's why when you read a certain book, you feel like, I feel like I've been here before because you have, <laughs> you have been there. So uh, that's one of the things that I learned from being a voracious reader. Just reading this stuff and just all these themes of redemption. That's why if you're a dude and gladiator and that music comes on and you you just like, yeah, because it's tapping into those things that you've been programmed. You're like, yeah, I want to go to the Coliseum and kill a tiger. Fuck that tiger. Fuck that tiger. So what if he's never done anything to me and he was in the jungle tending to his little baby tigers? And music <laughs> it just takes you there. And that's that's Gladiator, uh, one of my all-time favorite movies. Love that movie. But I don't kill baby tigers. I don't. Trust me, I don't. And that's something that you have to be aware of. 
with your hustle food and your digest. That's why I'm always giving you what I think to be good nuggets of hustle food, like Earl Nightingale, certain book titles. That's awesome stuff that will nourish you in the proper context because one of the things that helped me with my strategic hustling is reading. And then you're going, what? Reading. Because reading a book is a commitment. To start and finish a book is a commitment. Many people do not keep that commitment. There was a study that 80% of the people that buy a book read half or less. I think it's something like that. Meaning most of the people who buy a book never finish it. I used to be a member of a book club. I was one of the few people that finished books. And it's a small thing and it doesn't seem like really that great. But when you read a book and you complete it, you keep a certain commitment to yourself and it becomes habitual. So digesting good content can become habitual if you do it on the regular because your hustle food has got to be top notch. It's got to be good stuff. It's got to keep you going. If your hustle food is making you fight with people you don't know, that's not good hustle food. It's really not. If your hustle food is distracting you or, you know, you're sitting there watching like grinning chinchillas all day long because, you know, that hustle food's late. It's not good hustle food. So take time, take a moment and really think about the hustle food that you need to consume. All right. This is Glendon Cameron. I'll see you on the good side. Be sure to join my mailing list. The link is first one below.